Hello friends and family, this is your long lost loved one David coming at you once again from Granada in what I'm pretty sure is week 7 or perhaps week 8. So you might notice I'm all hot and sweaty. Now why is that? Because I just had a really really awesome run along the river Duero or Dado? Actually I should look up the name of that probably before I before I commit to saying things like this on, on a video blog. <clears throat> anyway, I ran along the river by the light of street lamps with hardly any people around in 40 or 50 degrees and it was just awesome listening by the way to Justin Timberlake's new album which is definitely a good good uh, track to run to. So the best thing that is that I think mostly thanks to my new diet of having slightly more protein and a lot more fat I was able to beat my own time of running five kilometers in 32 minutes to running 5k in 30, 29 minutes which I'm pretty happy with. I could probably work and like get that down but my secret New Year's resolution that I yes I actually did think about on New Year's Eve was to run 5k this year in under half an hour so I've done that and hopefully I'm going to keep that time time going while doing the other stuff that I normally do at the gym weightlifting etc <clears throat> now can I prove to anyone that that was really a New Year's resolution no I can't but I decided that I wouldn't tell anyone because that way if I didn't do it I wouldn't have to deal with all of the collective guilt and collective shame from that. So pat on my own back for that. Hmm. In other news, like I said the diet's been working out good. I feel like I have a lot more energy, I've been more focused, The I'm able to go harder with the various exercises that I'm doing and I feel like I've figured out a good routine that I'm happy with. I also bought 10 pounds of protein today. so. That was a pretty good deal and it'll keep me going for the next two months as I was kind of running low. So pretty happy with that. Strawberry flavored. <clears throat> mm, I've also been eating a lot more bacon, chocolate, avocados, walnuts, a lot of other good things. Not going overboard and I'm trying to take days off like not have chocolate every day but have chocolate every other day. Um, as well as same too with the bacon. And I figure as long as I stick with my goal of doing cardio three times a week plus the weightlifting plus the little program that I'm doing for, for the abdominals, I think um, it'll be, be pretty good. At some point, probably when I'm done with my current routine, I'm going to take maybe a week or two off and just do hard, uh, just do a lot of cardio stuff to kind of get some balance with that and um, decrease my body fat percentage, which isn't too high, but it'd be nice to, nice to lower it a little bit. So I don't intend for this to this particular entry to be quite as heavy in exercise, nutrition, and dieting as it has been so far. So I'm going to change the subject to other more exciting things. Um, the chief of which is I'm going to Helsinki for a three day, five day, three day seminar. Uh, medieval, uh, the medieval, the formation of the medieval canon of literature, which. Might not be very interesting to a lot of people out there, but I think it's fascinating. It'll be an awesome, awesome thing. I'm going with my friend um, Felipe, who was the same guy I went to Stockholm and Copenhagen with. And from the sound of it, we might actually take a quick trip down to Estonia, which would be really, really awesome. Since it isn't all that far of a flight for me, and I have I know some people in Madrid, I'm kind of thinking I might <clears throat> look into making it a long weekend, especially if I can get some people to meet me there and hang out with me a bit. and. Since the seminar itself is just, I think, from like Thursday to Tuesday to Thursday or something like that, or it, it's in the middle of a week, so it'd be pretty realistic for me to come Friday, hang out the weekend, do the seminar, hang out that weekend, and then come back for class on Monday. I'd miss a week of class, but I'm allowed to miss six, and I feel like this would be a good opportunity. And I actually come to think of it, I think everything, my classes are done in the beginning of May, so it'd be right after that anyway. So that's really exciting. Me going to Finland, Helsinki, never been there, never really thought about going there, but um, I'm very intrigued. And I think that both the seminar and the experience of seeing a really, really exciting new country will both be really awesome. Um, it does answer the question. Um, someone asked me this week or last week how long I was going to stay here. And I've been saying that it depends on taking the test. I'm going to try and take the test in two weeks. I haven't talked to the powers that be to schedule it, but that's something I'll do either tomorrow or this weekend. 
tomorrow being Friday for me, since you'll all probably be getting this on Friday or maybe even Saturday, depending on how how well my my uh, fickle internet connection works out. And I lost my train of thought. Sorry. It was a good run, but I'm kind of worn out for a minute. I think my blood sugar is a bit low, so I should probably go back and have some, I don't know, eat another avocado or something like that once this is all done. So right, I was talking about class. Sorry, this is kind of embarrassing. I should probably just like pause the video and figure out exactly what I was doing rather than ramble about this on the air. Anyway, I'm going to take the test in two weeks. And I would really, really like to for them to check me off and like pass me in every sense possible and say, come back to Chicago. We would love for you to teach. But as the teachers that I have um, are continuing to find little quirks and things that I have to work out with my grammar. Fortunately, nothing big. I feel like I've gotten a lot of the big stuff out of the way, but still little things that I can do better. Um, I'm kind of, you know, pessimistic about being able to speak Spanish perfectly by the time they, they need me to do that. There's a possibility that they might sort of pass me provisionally in the sense that they'll say I can teach the, the first year students, which you know, don't don't really say a whole lot outside of hi, how are you? I like this. I'm from here. The cat is meowing. Well, not even not even that. The cat is meowing would actually be rather complex, but very very basic things. So there's a chance that if I pass enough the test, maybe they'll say that, and that would be that would be just a great encouragement. I find that um, <clears throat> it's easy to get a bit frustrated because you know, as I'm studying and memorizing and internalizing things and understanding stuff. Um, you know, you occasionally make a mistake of something that you know and you thought you were doing better on or something that you thought you understood and realized you, you didn't quite understand, which, you know, can be frustrating and uh, discouraging. But um, I feel this week, at least this past week, I've been doing better. I'm, for better or worse, I'm shining or standing out in my classes, hopefully without being too obnoxious, but... Um, both for my knowledge of Spanish culture overall and also, wow, um, I'm sorry, I'm seven minutes into this already. And also, for the most part, I, I have a pretty good idea of what's going on with grammar, so that's been encouraging at least. Mm. Another nice thing, too, is in the conversations that I've had here, and also the conversations that I've had in the classes, some of them have been quite good. I'm, I feel like I'm starting to understand a lot more modern Spanish culture, which is nice, uh, especially since I guess I just sort of assumed that it wasn't all too different from other Western cultures, particularly what I've seen in the U.S. So it's nice to see the contrast and to, you know, have some questions that I can uh, wrestle with as I'm talking and getting to know people. Um, really briefly, since I'm down to two minutes, RetroVac, this retro film festival has been going on this past week. So I saw Psycho for the first time. Despite the fact that I knew how it would end, it still really had me like at the end of the sheet, uh, uh, jumping on, sorry, at the edge of my seat. And I jumped and like freaked out during one of the, one of the like, um, you know, stabbing, stabbing scenes. So very, very good movie. I also saw a couple of movies by Luis Bunuel. If all goes well, I'm hoping to attach a 30 second clip that pretty much explains everything that I've been able to do from the two Luis Bunuel films that I've seen. Um, they're both surrealist, so I feel like there might be something there, but I'd have to do a lot more research or talk to an expert to really, really understand what's going on. Fix a clog in the shower, not a big deal, but definitely made me feel a bit more manly. Said goodbye to my friend Vanessa, who is a language partner, one of the three people that I was meeting with on a weekly basis. She's going to Australia for the next few months, so hopefully I'll see her when she get back, gets back from that, although there is the possibility that she might find a job there and I uh, might never see her again, although I hope that we'll stay in touch over Facebook. Um, along that vein, I'm going to try and find a new language partner. So hopefully that'll happen this week. I've been getting a lot of comments or a lot of um, solicitations from people on the conversationexchange.com website that I've been using and where I met Maria and Maria Jose. So. I'm optimistic about finding people there. I think to, uh, I should have mentioned this earlier, but I think to, once I pass the test, I'm going to hopefully go directly into doing some research. I haven't had the chance to check out the archive here or the one in Madrid, 
mostly because I decided that I'm just going to drop everything and focus on the grammar and, you know, speak Spanish and write Spanish and just do all things in Spanish without trying to compli complicate it with more, more complex issues. I don't know if I mentioned the 10 pound bag of protein, but I am really excited about that. I'm continuing to be quite excited about that. The studying's good. It's getting a bit out of hand because now I have like three different sources of notes. One from my tutor, one from the classes that I'm taking, one from the Orange Grammar book, which was all transcribed into the red notebook. So you see how well color coding color coding's working for me. So it's good. I, I do I am able to make it through everything on a weekly basis, but the goal was at one point to make it through everything on a daily basis. So you know, that's long out the window, but I do feel that going over things at the rate that I've been going is good. Like they're, they're still staying pretty fast, which is good. Um, and I'm casually glancing over my list and it looks like that's pretty much everything. So to recap, really excited about running 30, sorry, three, three miles slash five kilometers and under 30 minutes. I don't know if I'm, I, I, I'm confusing since I made, um, I recorded this before and then recorded it again and threw out the first one. I think I mentioned the first one, but not in the second one that actually being able to run for like half an hour solid is, that, is like a huge deal for me because I remember concretely, I remember maybe 10 years ago. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 10 years ago, like I would run for a minute and like my chest and side and everything would hurt. And I was one of those kids back in high school that ran like a 12 minute mile. So it's nice to not only run, but to, you know, be like within the, the healthy margin of it. So that's good. Um, and again, looping back to one other thing, I think I'm definitely staying until mid-May. I might, depending on how research goes and of course how the grammar goes, I might just commit to staying until June. And I have the possibility and really until staying until October, um, which hopefully if all goes well is when the university will want me to come back and, and start teaching. <clears throat> so I'm not sure, it depends on a lot of things. The next step is to prepare for my oral exams, which I can do either here or in the US. What I think I would like to do, though, is um, explore some of the manuscript stuff and at least get to a place where I feel like I've made a pretty good dent in seeing what's here. And also, of course, I want to see southern Spain since I haven't had the chance to do that and do definitely want to do that before it gets hot, to, hot you know, hot as hot as blazes. Sorry, that's the expression, hot as blazes. <clears throat> Hopefully Monday, I'm going to get an international driver's license, which apparently is not all that difficult. You just give them 10 euros, show them your passport and your current driver's license, and they decide that you're officially okay to drive in anywhere in the world. So sounds a bit like a scam to me, but what can you do? <clears throat> so that's all for now. Sorry that these aren't coming out weekly. This is now going to be David's whenever I get around to it blog rather than David's weekly blog. And that said, I miss and love all of you. Thank you so much for the emails. They're very encouraging and it definitely helps the U.S. to feel a lot closer than it is. So please continue to write me. I love hearing from all of you. Um, I miss and love all of you. I keep you all in my prayers and hope you'll do the same for me. And goodbye. Sans être de mieux vert, constitué par une masse renfermée.